Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to share a few things about the backscattering of the SAR. This is very interesting and a very big topic in itself. What is SAR polarizin? In simple terms, it is how the electric field is transmitted from the radar. The waves, they have the property of oscillation, and oscillation occurs with respect to the direction of the travel of the wave. Uh, and this property of oscillation is used in SAR as well. So there are two different uh, polarizing that is used in SAR, that is the horizontal polarizing and the vertical polarizing. We see this uh, figure here. This is from the Wikipedia article. You can see this also in the Wikimedia Commons. And this shows the conversion of the circular polarizing to linear polarizing with this uh, gate-like structure here. So the, the conversion of the polarizing is occurring here. So when the SAR waves are incident at the surface of the Earth, uh, they are reflected and few of them are absorbed. And the SAR waves are affected by the roughness, by the composition and the presence of the moisture and the surface of the earth. And the uh, SAR waves at which incidence angle is or, or the incident also determines the SAR signal. So, so many roles or so many factors uh, determines how the SAR signal are received back. So these are the, here are the general information. So the vertical polarization is used detecting the vegetation. So it reflects most of the vertical polarized signal. Horizontal polarization is used in detecting the man-made structures or the rough surfaces. And it reflects more of the horizontal polarized signal. And when these two polarizations are combined, this is helpful in collecting more of the information about the surface of the Earth. The surface um, is also very much important in determining the SAR signal. So the smooth surfaces, they reflect the SAR waves like the mirror. So they reflect most of the waves uh, back in the same direction they came from. Whereas the rough surfaces, they scatter the saw waves in all directions. Similarly, what that surface content also determined the SAR signal. There are two different courses. The first one is the eo-college.org. The second one is not exactly the course, but it's the story map available in the ArcGIS. These two different uh, Sources are very amazing uh, in terms of getting more idea about the SAR backscattering. And there will be more videos on this topic. I will say thank you for watching and I welcome any types of comments or any comments. So I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.